ฮัลโหลครับสวัสดีครับฮัลโหลคุณยังฟังฉันอ alright okay are you ready <coughs> so today um, I'm going to teach you about writing skill right okay so basically I'm going to show you for this um, slide presentation first just because it is very important to see any guideline how to write an essay and then you can uh, practice with the topic that I will assign to you later okay. Um, so first of all, writing skill, right? So first of all, you need to do that. You need to understand the way that you have to write first. Okay, so basically I think the definition of writing here um, is all about concept, but if you understand this, I think it would be crucial for you. Uh, it is important to write any kinds of different, um, you know, different writings, okay? Um, the first thing that you need to understand is that writing, it means that you need to use your ability or language ability into writing. Here, it's all about English, right? So we need to write English in order to make sure that you can communicate to other people and then they understand what you are writing to. All right, so it's all about communication. So when it comes to do the uh, essay or for the test, it's also really important that you have to make it clear for your communication. Okay, good. And this one is very important. Good writing skills allow you to communicate your message with clarity and ease. Ease here is means uh, easy way, right? So when I read your piece of essay, what I would like to mention is that I just want to see how clarity it is when you write it and then how it's easy to understand when you write it. Okay, the key, key term here would be write with clarity and write with easy, okay? Writing is a creative skill. Sometimes you need to understand that when it comes to do the writing test, you need to make sure that you can generate some of ideas into that topic. Okay, creative skill it means creativity. And other skill proficiency comes with practice, some cases writing. So you need to practice when you uh, have any different idea into that writing, okay? Good. So anyway, writing is all about practice. So I think if you want to make sure that you are good at writing, so you need to practice in daily or every, every time as much as possible. Okay, good. Um, as you know, that writing is all about communication. Writing skills are highly essential because organization need a professional writer. I would say that if you can do good for your essay, it means that you have ability to perform your language skill. Just because you need to know um, difficult vocabulary, you need to know how to arrange a sentence with correct grammatical structure. So it's all about a writing skill, right? And I would say that if you can practice in daily, you're gonna be, um, I mean, let's say like 30 pieces of essay, you need to write at least 30 pieces of essay, uh, 30. It means that if you can practice uh, over than 30 essays, you can become a prof professional writer. All right, good. Anyway, try to make it happen. Okay, so here is all about writing, type of writing. I, I think you would practice about independent writing. It's all about essay, narrative writing. It means that you have to tell your story, your own experience into that writing, okay? And then expository writing it means that you can describe any situation into writing. For example, like if we are talking about your favorite sport. Let's say, why do we need to exercise things like that? Once you put your idea or your personal issue into that, it means that you uh, explain expository writing into that right uh, in, into the essay. And the last one would be important for you. It's all about persuasive writing. For example, like uh, for the IO test, you need to understand that which way you decide to choose it. 
and then try to convince other people believe what you are saying or what you are, what you are writing. Okay, good. Um, should I skip here because it isn't important for you? Okay, this one. I would suggest that this is um, a good practice and effective strategy for you, free writing, okay? Free writing means that um, a technique that can help you writing freely, okay? A person writes continuously for a set up period of time without regarding a spelling, grammar, or a topic, okay? This one is might build your fluency into writing. I mean, um, if you can write with free writing technique, it means that you can handle the time when it comes to do the essay writing test, okay? So here, uh, you don't have to be worried about spelling. You can write anything without um, correct spelling, and then you can use any grammar that come up in your mind, okay? And any topic that you can feel free to discuss any ideas into that topic. Okay, free writing is very important just because you can practice at home. Okay, but when it comes to discuss or study with me, I'm going to check your writing with an accurate in terms of spelling, grammar, and vocabulary. Okay, so here it's all about the first thing that you need to do free writing. Okay, good. Easy writing. Okay, let's say, first of all, when it comes to do the test, I think easy writing can be practiced so that you can develop your writing to be better. It means that you can transform the easy writing into difficult writing with uh, advanced vocabulary, advanced grammar structure, things like that, okay? Anyway, what you need to understand about um, easy writing is that you need to understand uh, sentence, sentences contain verbal. It means that any of sentence you need to describe the situation the person doing that or any kinds of activity that happen in that time anyway it requires verb tense which is depend on um tenses for example a past form present form or future forms okay this one is very important um i think it's all about subject and verb agreement here Okay, sentences using present and past participle. Okay, good. This one is very important just because sometimes you need to understand the grammar part of present participle ing and then past participle ed in phrases, right? For example, like if you are talking about students studying English in order to make sure that they can communicate in the future or job career, it means that you need to use present participle. By the way, if you are talking about something was done, for example, like a furniture was bought by a department store, so it means that bought furniture or past participle here into writing, so you need to understand so that you can make sure that your writing is accurate, okay? A positive construction. This is all about grammar mistake that we can uh, practice writing together. So I'm going to show you first, and then when, when it comes to practice, you can write, and then I will comment to you later, it's okay? And sentences using semicolon for more intricate format. Just focus on semicolon or punctuation here, okay? You know the word comma, right? Semicolon, uh, colon, or uh, exclamation mark or even the split sentence. By the way, I'm going to give you a detail uh, in that punctuation again, just because it might be a little bit detailed, right? And sentences containing related clause. Okay, let's say in a simple way, you are going to understand about who describe a person, which describe uh, things, right? Or that uh, can, can be both described in terms of persons or things, okay? So here, relative clause is very important just because um, you need to understand for more detail about related, relative clause in advanced level of writing format. For example, like reduce relative clauses, okay? Things like that. Uh, I'm going to show you uh, the aspect or any idea of writing first, and then when it comes to practice, I'm going to check in each word line by line, okay? 
All right, and then sentence using subordinate clauses is all about transition. For example, like however, moreover, but so, so that things like that. Anything about it, it uh, is all about grammar part that you are going to practice together. Next one, principle of good writing. Okay, when it comes to the test, right? Uh, some students may not really understanding about good writing. They just write whatever they want to write. But when it comes to the test, you need to understand any kinds of idea like, like this. Okay, the first one is that objective or purpose. When you write something, right, you need to understand that you write for whom? Who are the audiences or even the readers that you are going to do? Okay, any kinds of aspect that you are going to do. Use clear language, okay? So sometimes some student may want to show off with, um, you know, the knowledge of vocabulary or advanced grammar, but they did wrong in, the, in terms of, of sentences. So it means that you need to make sure that you write anything with clear language first. It's unreasonable, right? And then be objective. It means that be your side, for example, like, when it comes to report uh, an essay, we agree or disagree with that statement. If you agree, just supporting the detail, right? If you disagree, just claim that why you, are, you disagree with that. So it means that objective or um, your explanation is very, really important for the writing. Structure, here's all about grammar. Okay, so sometimes you need to use simple sentence uh, compound sentence or complex sentence, it's all about that. Choice of word, okay, it's all about vocabulary. This one is grammar, this one is vocabulary. Punctuation, it's all about grammar as well. Grammatical correct. For example, like subject and verb agreement, there is, there are, there will be, right? Some people say, some people argue that, things like that. So this is all about uh, grammatical accuracy. Proof reading is very important as well. For example, if you're done for your writing, but uh, maybe your writing uh, has a little bit mistakes, so you need to proofread before you submit any uh, writing to the test day. And then style of writing. It's, it's all about like, uh, if you are asked to write um, argumentative essay, so you need to convince other people believe your idea. But if you need to write a storytelling essay, so just tell and then convince other people uh, flow with your sentences. All right, good. Next one, purpose is all about you, right. Uh, I'm going to check what is the main idea here. Okay, purpose is mean that just direct to the audiences or the readers, okay like a good news, bad news, message of inquiry, things like that, so it's depend, right? If you are talk about a good way, just explain in a good way. But if you need to talk about in a positive way, I'm um, sorry, negative way, right? Or bad news, just talking about the discuss and discuss about um, the bad way that you are going to talk about it. Okay, good. And uh, this one is clear language. This checklist here, clear language means that you use your English writing in the right direction. Use a source of words you would use in conversation, okay? So there is nothing to come up with a conversation just because if you write, you have to control your language into formal writing. It means that it must be polite writing or appropriate writing. Okay, use a level of language that, that is accessible to your reader, it's fine, okay? Avoid overuse of cliche, simile, or one of risk. This one is, is kind of like uh, in the conversation or idiom, ideomatic, things like that. So if it's not clear, it doesn't guarantee that you are going to get a very good score from your essay, okay? Write short sentences so that your reader get the basic or theme point of your phrase, okay? First of all, if you want to make sure that you give a clear idea into writing, so just write a bullet point first, 
it's all about like get the main idea and then you try to make it into a complex structure. Okay, but anyway, simple sentence is more accurate than complex sentence. Anyway, you need to differentiate or make sure that which one is better for your writing. Um, be objective, okay? Present information objectively, support the detail or references if you are going to talk about that. If you write a narrative essay, you need to explain through your personal experiences, okay? But if you write debatable or argumentative essay, so you need to claim which one is better, which one is not, and then try to make sure with supporting detail. Okay, so you may not um, fully understand about this, but I'm going to say that when it comes to writing, I'm going to shape one by one again. Okay, your conclusion should arise logically. It means reasonable, right? from the information presented and be based on the facts and evidence you have collected. Anyway, you should start with a topic sentence and then support your idea, right? Topic sentence, support your idea, support with examples, things like that, rather than your, your own opinion or what you would like to happen. Anyway, in terms of essay, you don't have to give much more opinion Okay, um, just because um, in, 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 in form of writing, you need to support with the evidence. Uh -huh. Try to avoid such opinion, but for your speaking, it's fine. If you want to go with lots of opinion in that discussion topic. Next one, structure. This one is very important just because you need to understand a lot about grammar, okay? Clear beginning, middle, and end. So first of all, I'm going to show you that the first one is introduction, right? And the second one is body paragraph, one, two, three, with supporting details, and then conclusion. That's it. It is more challenging to understand chain of thought. Chain of thought, it means several ideas in written communication than when it is expressed verbally. All right. So when it comes to writing, you have time to think about the topic. It's different from a speaking, right? Speaking, it means that you have prompt to the talk, you need to respond immediately. But for writing, you have time to rewrite, revise, and then re-read again and again, things like that. So it means that your thought, your thinking is very important uh, for the essay. Anyway, we're gonna practice together later. Blueprint for your thought, is your mind will decide the structure you're writing. Anyway, it depends on your opinion. For me, is I think different from you, it's fine. If you think different from me, it's fine. But anyway, when it comes to writing, you need to clear. You, you need to be clear with your structure. Okay, next one is child of word. It's all about vocabulary. So in technical term, um, I would say that it's all about collocation or appropriate vocabulary, formal vocabulary. Okay, so it is different from um, speaking just because when, when, when we speak, we just use the easy way to speak, right? But for writing, you need to understand that some word or vocabulary is not good for writing. Right, so we have to recall and remember lots of vocabulary here. The words that you use determine your style. Determine, it means direct, direct to your style, right? Okay, control your style, okay. Your writing could be easy and based on simple words so that your reader get the main point. It is very important for your essays as well, just because the examiner will read your essay for many times, once you read with complex vocabulary or it's hard to understand for your vocabulary, it might get um, weak score, I would say like that. So the weakness here, it means that we have to read a lot and then we try to write a lot and that's it, okay? Word can convey positive meaning negative meaning, strong meaning or weak meaning, depend on the context or how to express in that word. For example, 
if you can use appropriate behavior, so it goes for positive meaning. Is that right? If you can use, um, let's say, hostile behavior. Hostile behavior is mean bad behavior. It would be negative meaning. Is that right? Strong and weak, for example. Like, if you are going to say, I'm going to do my homework tonight, it means strong, right? But if you say, I may be do my homework tonight, it means weak. So it's depend on the context that you're going to say. Good. Next one, punctuation. It's hard to understand the punctuation. And I would say that maybe we can practice together later. And I'm going to show you lots of function of um, you know, punctuation that can be used in the writing. Um, punctuation, it means that if you are going to expect your high score from writing, you need to use it naturally. Uh, it has a large effect on writing, right? And in speaking so, but in speaking, um, you don't have to push any sentences, right? A uh, full stop, question mark, anything, because we understand when we, uh, we heard something from that speaking. But for writing, if you don't have any full stop or comma, it might ruin your sentences and no one can understand what you are writing for, right? So punctuation is very important, but anyway, I'm going to show you later, maybe in the end of the class, it would be great. Just because I want to make sure that your writing is go in the right direction first, and then we can practice for more at once, vocabulary, sentence stru structure, or even grammar, things like that. Um, a writer should have the best knowledge to use this thing. This is, so try to avoid it first. Just use comma and full stop first. For semicolon or colon, you need to understand properly and then you can use it correctly, okay? Grammatical correct. Okay, no, um, I think it's hard for everyone when it comes to writing, for me as well. To me, I think grammatical accuracy is all about proofreading. So once you proofreading or you recheck, you reread it again, you are going to check that there are some mistakes that you can correct it, okay? No grammatical mistake. Yeah, it would be great if it, it is like that. Okay, in writing grammar have a large effect as well. If you write correct grammar, the reader understand the context easily. For example, if you talk about the past events, so you need to use past form. If you aren't going to talk about the cause and effect, so you need to use if conditional sentences that we've been studying together last week, I guess. Okay, this one, proofread. Proofreading, it means that recheck your mistakes. Okay, proofread as, as many times as it is required to get it perfect. Okay, once you didn't make a proofreading before you submit your essay, you may lose uh, a score from the essay. So I'm going to warn or suggest that it is very important for you to proofread before you submit any kinds of uh, writing assignment. This thing has sent out error. You can see and identify some errors in your writing. It's okay. After you finish writing, read and reread and check your typo. Typo is all about spelling. Okay, spelling. Like um, if you cannot um, spell comfortable or convenience correctly, so you need to recheck again and again. Okay, and grammar errors. Check for concision, concise, right? Concise and cut out every single word. It means that sometimes if you write a lot of words and then you read it out loud and you can find out that there is some mistake from your writing. So you need to cut it out or try to make or rephrase it again. Okay, proofreading is very important here. And the last one we use all about style. Style it means is the main every writer owns his own style. It's depend, right? So for me, if I write a piece of essay, it's mine. But for you, if you write a piece of essay, it's your, so it's depend. Okay, and easy style has a quick impact. Okay, if you write it in easy way, it would be great for you. 
And the last one would be the message should be understood the first reading. That's it. So it's all about lecture that I'm going to show, show you here. Okay, just recall again, a principle of write, for a good writing. The first one is purpose, clear language, objective, structure, choice of word, punctuation, grammatical correct, proofread, and style, right? Purpose, clear language, the objective, structure, choice of word. You can checklist here and then punctuation, grammatical accuracy, proofreading, and then style. It's your turn here. Um, no, can't find it, I last may have. Okay, okay. Wait, no, can't find it, I need a madness, song soon, song noon. เอ่อยังไม่ได้ส่งไฟล์ให้หรือเปล่าคะเดี๋ยวขออีเมลส่งอีเมลมาทางไลน์ก็ได้ครับท่านอันนี้คือเมลเราใช่ปะพัชพัชรสอนโอเคแสดงว่าหนูเข้าไปละหมายถึงว่าหนูหนูสามารถเข้าไปจอยได้ละคืออย่างนี้คือ um, so for this part right i'm going to check the idea of your writing ก็คือเดี๋ยวพี่จะมีท็อปิกให้อยู่ก็คือว่า many people prefer watching ง่ายๆก่อนนะครับ watching music videos on television หรือว่าในพวกแบบ Netflix นะครับ or the internet rather than listening to the songs on their own นะครับเป็นการ compare นะครับว่าเฮ้ยดู Netflix หรือว่าฟังจริงนะครับ which we are experiencing music do you think is preferable and why อ่ะเดี๋ยวให้เรามานั่งเขียนพี่จะจับเวลาประมาณ 15 นาทีลองเขียนให้ได้มากที่สุดภายใน 15 นาทีนะครับนะครับเป็น free writing ไปก่อนอันนี้ ถ้าแบบเราเขียนเป็นโอปินิออนได้มั้ยคะได้ได้ได้แต่ว่าเขียนเขียนซัพพอร์ตให้มากที่สุดนะครับก็คือหมายถึงว่าหนูต้องเล
uh, finish. Done, right? Uh, but I'll try again. โอเคนะครับได้แล้วใช่มั้ยครับอันนี้ลองดูลองก๊อปวางมาใส่ในนี้หน่อยมั้ยมันสามารถใส่ได้ปะน่าจะทําได้เนาะก๊อปมาใส
ส่งมาในไลน์ก็ได้ครับถ้าอย่างนั้นโอเคอ่ะพี่กำลังจะอ่านให้เราฟังนะครับ In my opinion I'd like to divide it into three thoughts I do one Some people would rather listen to music in a video than to listen to music at a concert because listening listening to music is more comfortable. We don't have to go to the concert to listen to artists singing. Mm -hmm. It's more comfortable with it in terms of travel, money, and some people and children. Parents may not allow them to go. To the concert, but in my opinion, I feel that I feel that it is more convenient to listen to music on the internet. But we may not be get feeling in music than going to concert with our favorite artists. Second, Second thought is watching a concert might get a mood that goes with the song. I give an example of one situation. My favorite foreign artist is Olivia. Her songs like Good For You. They just were good to listen on YouTube. But in my opinion, if I go to, the her, to her concert and listen to her sing, at a concert, we tend to be more emotionally involved with music than we listen on YouTube. Some people would pay a lot of money to listen to for each artist. I get three. I think it depends on convenience of each person. For example, some people may prefer going to concerts than listening to the YouTube, but they don't have enough money to go. It's not easy to go. เป็นไงบ้างครับพอเราเขียนมาแล้วอ่ะในส่วนของคอมเมนต์แล้วกันนะครับมันไม่ค่อยได้เรื่องเวอร์แคปค่ะบางเวอร์แคปบางอันมันจะไม่ค่อยถูกเพราะว่าหนูไปเซิร์ชมาจะทรานสเลตค่ะอ๋อโอเคคืออสเปกที่เราจะคุยกันลักษณะ constructive feedback และการในส่วนของไอเซนะครับอันนี้อันดับแรกเนี่ยเราก็จะดูในส่วนของ task achievement ก็คือตัวนี้คือในส่วนของไอเดียนะครับว่ามันมีความ interesting หรือว่า supporting detail นะครับเป็นยังไงบ้างเข้มไหมส่วนที่สองเนี่ยจะเป็นในเรื่องของ vocabulary นะครับอ่า vocabulary ก็คือในที่นี้คือ in terms of นะครับ particular context เข้าใจไหมอ่าก็คือ context นี้ก็จะเป็นในเรื่องของ watching ถูกไหมครับอ่า TV ถูกป่ะหรือว่าอ่า let's say เป็น YouTube หรือว่า going to the concert ถูกไหมที่พี่ทำวิ่งให้15นาทีเพราะมันเป็นเวลาที่เราต้องเขียนเอเซย์จริงๆแล้วตัวนี้มันเป็นแบบเหมือนเทอมของ practice เฉยจริงๆแล้วโจทย์จริงจะค่อนข้าง advance กว่านี้แต่ว่าเราเรา practice กันตัวที่มันใกล้ตัวก่อนนะครับอันนี้ก็จะเป็นในเรื่องของ agree กับ disagree นั่นเองถูกไหมนะครับโอเคไปครับตัวที่3ก็จะเป็นในเรื่องของ grammar range and structure อันนี้ยากที่สุดนะครับแล้วก็ความเป๊ะก็คือ accuracy ก็คือจะเป็นในเรื่องของ sentence นะฮะ sentence phrase นะ phrase แล้วก็อาจจะเป็นในเรื่องของ word choices ที่ต้องเป๊ะจริงๆแล้ววัดใช้เสร็จมันจะอยู่ใน vocabulary ก็ได้แต่ว่าจริงๆแล้วเรามองที่เป็น
กรัมมาก็ได้เหมือนกันนะครับสุดท้ายเนี่ย one two three coherent um, coherent and cohesion ถูกไหมอ่าอันนี้ก็คือ flow หรือว่าง่ายๆคือว่า easy to read โอเคนะฮะทีนี้เนี่ยปกติแล้วเนี่ยพี่จะให้เราเช็คลิสต์เองว่าเราผ่านสมมติอันนี้เต็มสิบเราให้เท่าไหร่ทาร์ achievement อยู่ที่เท่าไหร่ให้เราประเมินตัวเองก่อนสมมติเราตอบคำถามตรงไอเดียหนูก็ให้ไปเลยสิบเต็มสิบถูกไหมครับหรือว่าตัวที่สอง work from work cap อ่าสมมติเรามีการ research มาบ้างแล้วไม่เป็นไรก็ถือว่าเป็นช่วงของการหานะครับ grammar range แล้วก็ structure กับ accuracy ตัวนี้ก็ต้องมานั่งดูว่าแบบเอ้ยเราใช้ advanced structure มากไหนขนาดไหนและสุดท้ายคือ coherent กับ cohesion หรือว่าความ flow easy to read เนี่ยมันอยู่ที่ประมาณไหนนะครับถ้าที่พี่ดูแล้วเนี่ยในส่วนของ task achievement เนี่ยก็ไม่น่ามีปัญหานะครับก็คือในส่วนของ task achievement เนี่ยก็คือ your idea is quite interesting นะครับก็คือหมายถึงว่ามีการพูดในลักษณะของ reasonable นะครับ supporting detail okay นะครับแต่ว่าในส่วนของ vocabulary เนี่ยจะต้องมองคือ aspect ก็คือว่าต้องดูในส่วนของ advanced vocabulary หน่อยหนึ่งนะครับอืมเพราะว่าอย่างเช่นอืม let's say ว่าจริงๆแล้ว part นี้มันก็จะเป็น Uh, context สมมติหนูใช้คำว่า comfortable ถูกไหมฮะก็ดีนะฮะ uh, ลองหาใหม่ก็จะเป็น convenient ถูกไหมฮะอันเนี้ยถ้าเป็นพวกนี้เนี่ยมันจะเป็นคำศัพท์กลางๆอยู่เราอาจจะต้องหาเพิ่มอะไรอย่างเงี้ยนะครับอย่างเช่น fascinating สมมตินะหรือไม่ก็แบบว่า cashy lifestyle อะไรอย่างเงี้ยอ่าพวกนี้เนี่ยมันจะเป็นคำศัพท์ที่เราอ่ะต้องฝึกแล้วก็เรียนรู้ไปนะครับแต่ว่าไม่เป็นไรคือมันต้องใช้เวลาละนะฮะไม่ต้องไปวอร์รี่เรื่องนี้เยอะทีนี้ส่วนตัวที่3เนี่ยกราฟมาเนี่ยอาจจะยังไม่ได้เห็นในเรื่องของคอมเพล็กซ์สตรัคเจอร์เท่าไหร่นะครับยังไงให้ลงจำไปอย่างนี้คอมเพล็กซ์สตรัคเจอร์เนี่ยมันจะเป็นในเรื่องของทรานซิชันเบอร์ใหญ่ๆนะครับอย่างเช่นสมมติเราต้องมีคําว่า however แทนแรปแทนบัตรเก็บป่ะ consequently แทนอะไรครับแทนพวก so หรือว่า therefore อะไรเงี้ยนะครับมานี้คือคำพวกนี้เนี่ยมันจะเป็นในเรื่องของ transition แล้วก็จะเป็นในเรื่องของ comma ถูกไหมแต่ว่าเดี๋ยวเขามันว่ากันนะครับอย่างเช่นกรณีที่เราบอกว่า with นะครับ an increasing นะครับ number of People, นะครับ watching TV and YouTube. Let's say ว่า at home ถูกไหมฮะก็ comma ไปนะครับทำให้อะไรครับ It is สมมตินะ It is true ภาษาต้องประมาณนี้ that people may be reluctant to go. For live concert, สมมตินะอ่านะครับก็อาจจะบอกว่า due to ก็ได้ due to the serious อ่า let's say ว่า serious อะไรเดี๋ยว the serious covid covid 19 outbreak ก็บอกไปอะไรประมาณนี้โอเคไหมอันนี้จะเป็นในเรื่องของภาษาเพราะฉะนั้นถ้าเราสามารถทำพวกนี้ได้มันก็จะง่ายทีนี้ในส่วนของ t i m e shiftment ไม่น่ามีปัญหาตัวนี้ก็คืออันนี้คืออาจจะเป็นภาษาที่เราใช้เนี่ยอย่างก็คือ easy to understand นะครับพี่ให้ว่า easy to understand เพราะว่าเราก็เขียนค่อนข้างเคลียร์แต่ว่ามันจะต้องเป็น formal writing นะครับก็คือภาษาที่หนูใช้นี่มันยังเป็น informal writing นั่นเองนะครับโอเคอ่ะคอนเซปต์คร่าวๆก็ประมาณนี้เดี๋ยวพรุ่งนี้เนี่ยพี่จะมาเขียนท็อปิกนี้ให้เราดูเป็น t e a c h e r d o d o version โอเคไหมโอเคนะครับ
ก็คือหมายถึงว่าเดี๋ยวพรุ่งนี้เนี่ยจะมานั่งไล่เขียน introduction by the paragraph conclusion จาก topic ที่เราเขียนวันนี้แหละแล้วก็ลองลอง compare ดูว่าเฮ้ยหนูต้องเขียนประมาณนี้ให้ได้นู่นนี่นั่นไป Alright so today I'm going to say that um, done for this class and see you on Wednesday นะครับบ๊ายบายครับสวัสดีครับ